Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the WREG-TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center Studios. And as of right now, things, again, decently quiet in much of the Mid-South areas. We take a look at some pretty warm conditions for tonight. Also, the possibility of some more thunderstorms will be sticking around as we go into the rest of the evening. And yes, that could include some severe weather. We'll talk more about the timing of that coming up here in just a little bit. Got questions about the forecast? Stick around. We'll answer as many of them uh, as we possibly can. We'll also take a look at the extended forecast and give you an idea as to what's coming up as we move our way out of June and head into July and getting a little bit closer to the area into and around uh, time frame for the Independence Day holiday coming up in about 10 days. We'll talk about that in just a little while. Don't forget you can catch the forecast if you can not watch all of our netcast here for tonight. You can always go to our main weather page at wreg.com slash weather. Complete forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen and of course the 7 to 10 day forecast down here in the lower left hand corner of your screen for right now. Decently warm across the Mid-South and let's see how warm it is out there. If you've got some weather reports, no matter wherever you happen to be, drop your location, your city and state will do nicely. Mailing address, not necessary but thank you for trusting us with that if you do send that in but uh, city state will do just nicely. And give us again some wind information, cloud cover uh, temperatures. If you got that thermometer outside the kitchen window. Put that to good use and let us see what's going on out there. In just a bit, we'll take a look at some of your weather pictures and we'll also take a look at what's going on in the tropics. And of course, we'll take a look at the threat for severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center is monitoring parts of the Mid-South area for the development of more severe weather later on tonight. We'll explain where, when, and how much as we go into the rest of the evening, so stay tuned as we give you an update as to what's going on. Right at sunset in the Mid-South area and not seeing too much of anything just yet in the way of showers or thunderstorms and temperatures by early tomorrow morning back into the mid to upper 70s or so. So chances of anything cooler anytime soon are just not happening across much of the area. So if you're heading off to work, uh, going to vacation Bible school in the morning, catching that early golf game, whatever you've got going on, numbers are going to be not that cool back in the mid to upper 70s. And there will be that chance of an isolated thunderstorm throughout the evening, overnight into very early tomorrow morning. And then the chances really start to drop off as we go into Monday and Again, some chances into next week. Not really looking at a lot of activity out there throughout the course uh, of the area at this point in time. Celia Horton Lair, 90 in Hernando, 86. Cloudy in New Bern, Paulette Morrow, thank you very much uh, for that one. 86 in Wyatt, Mississippi, Alice McGowie, thank you very much uh, for that one. Welcome to everybody else checking in for right now. Collierville, 83 degrees. Ronnie Williams, Jackie Hauser Holt, Columbus, Mississippi, 94. Feels like 100. I can definitely understand that with the humidity out there uh, for right now. And for everybody else checking in, welcome to the show. And again, drop your location and your weather reports if you have them into the area. Uh, John Michael, weather radio ready to go. Always a good idea. Uh, weather safety on that. Very good to have that. Always have, again, alternate ways of getting your weather alert messages. If you can get them via emergency text, that's great. Don't just rely on tornado sirens. That's, again, could be a fatal mistake. They you can uh, hear them if they're close to your house, but houses today, buildings are so much more well insulated. It's difficult to actually hear those things sometimes if you're too far away. So alternate ways of getting your warnings would be a very good idea. Sunset light around the Ole Miss campus and not too many people out and about tonight as we look toward the Student Union. Lights of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium back through the trees of the Grove for tonight. We did have a nice sunset up until... It's still pretty nice right now, but we do have a lot more clouds out there with more thunderstorms trying to develop back to the west. The view of I-55 just north of Goodman Road, looking back toward the State Line Road area and looking off to the west-northwest, again showing those clouds starting to kind of block out the sunshine by just a little bit from there. And likewise, usually a great sunset down on the river. It was looking good until these thunderstorm cloud tops started to pop up, so starting to kind of obscure the sun by just a a little bit as we look across the river. Now, nothing, again, really immediate taking place for right now. Golfers wrapping up around the area of Windyke Country Club, but a few people still practicing some putting on the green out that direction. 90, our official high temperature today. This was about as typically Memphis for this time of the year as you could possibly get for the late June period. Lower 90s is where we should be. Lower 70s for lows. 
We did manage to wind up with about half an inch of precipitation, and that is doing a good job of keeping us about seven and a half inches above normal for the year on precip. We made it about 10 degrees within a record high, but again, didn't make it all the way, which is definitely some good news on that. Storm Tracker 3S radar for Shelby County in Memphis. Not that much going on here, but back to the west of us. More thunderstorms starting to redevelop as we look back into the area of central Arkansas. We did have some scattered showers and what's left of them making their way up toward the Tennessee-Kentucky state line. Really not much more than that at this point. But back to the west of us, we are seeing again a decent line of thunderstorms redeveloping from southern Missouri across central Arkansas and back down to the Louisiana-Arkansas state line. The whole line is moving east at about 30 miles per hour and then also seeing, again, some thunderstorms redeveloping into and around this area. So just around Little Rock as of 8 o'clock, down toward Texarkana into southwestern parts of Arkansas, and then a few more up around Mountain View, north of Arkansas on Storm Tracker 3S radar. So we'll be watching these to see if we pick up anything at all in the course of the next few hours. If anything develops out this direction in advance of that, again, through about Jonesboro down to about Helena, that's where we'll see, again, some stronger storms developing. And anybody who lives west of the Mississippi, you're going to be picking up more rumbles of thunder into the rest of the evening out that direction. Now, for severe weather purposes, we still have a severe thunderstorm watch from Little Rock down to northeast Texas and parts of southern Oklahoma as well, back down around McCurtain County and into northern parts of Louisiana, just north of there. That's the only watch box that we have at this point in time and have had throughout the rest of the day. Mid-South area, News Channel 3 viewing area over here, not seeing anything at this point in time, so we're just not seeing uh, anything that much in the way of cooler weather at first. Heat index temperatures still in the mid upper 90s in some parts of the area. Give me one second to reset the shot here for just a second, and we're going to bring up our internet browser for a moment. This is from the Storm Prediction Center. This is where we get our watches from and the advisories that we get about where and when the next ones will be posted. Now, this particular one showing, again, the area right around I-40, this hatched area here, the Storm Prediction Center is looking at the possibility of a new watch for areas along and north of I-40. So metro area to Dyersburg, and from the boot heel down to about I-40 in Arkansas, we might see a new severe thunderstorm watch issued within the course of the next hour or so. It's about a 40% chance that this will be issued. So again, kind of iffy on that, that we might see uh, something going on. But again, wanted to make certain you're aware that we could see something like this developing. If you'd like to get more information about this, all you have to do is go to the Storm Prediction Center for more information. The best way to get there is to go to weather.gov and click on the severe weather links down below the large United States map, and that'll take you directly to this website. This is where we get the watch information from when a tornado watch or a severe thunderstorm watch is issued. This is where it comes from. We don't issue that here at News Channel 3. We get them from the experts in this from, again, the severe weather studies and the meteorologists in charge. And this is from Norman, Oklahoma. So if you'd like to know more about this, tons more information available online. So take a look there. Rest of the evening, again, best chance of showers and thunderstorms along and north of I-40. Moving lines showing the southerly winds, and that's going to keep some very sultry conditions here into the next couple of days. Little, if anything, is going to be changing in the near future. Not going to see too much in the way of cooler winds anytime soon across the area. And Baker, Covington included in this. Yes, Covington right around that area. And we'll continue to see, again, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms for you. John Michael, tornadoes possible tonight. We'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Michelle Mosier, Mosier, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Mary Oliver, you're quite welcome. Glad to help everybody keep informed out there. Glad to do what I can. 84 and humid in New Albany, Mississippi. Amy Pilcher, thank you very much for that one. And everybody else taking a look around the area. Christy Simmons, 87 degrees in Marion, Arkansas. Thank you very much for that. Ezekiel Cardenas, hope I'm saying that right. 67 in Slayton, Minnesota. That sounds a lot better than what it feels like around here, that's for certain. Temperatures tomorrow back in the lower to mid-90s, and thank you for that uh, check-in out there. 
Now, through the rest of the evening, good news from the Storm Prediction Center. We were in a slight category, the yellow polygon. That has now been removed from the Mid-South area, but we continue again to see that potential for, again, some severe weather. Not great chances. Again, when you get up into this territory, you're talking about major tornado weather not happening for right now. And again, what we're going to be seeing into the rest of the evening for the time being is going to be the possibility of isolated severe strong thunderstorms damaging winds and large hail will be the main threat out of this and where did it go here for a second uh john michael tornadoes as of right now again the threat of tornadoes we can't say that there's no threat it's a non-zero threat but it's still a threat so an isolated tornado from some of those thunderstorms we showed you could be possible. So again, that's something to prepare for out there in that area. Phyllis King, is this for Moscow, uh, right around Moscow, Tennessee, again in Fayette County? Yes, that is included in the News Channel 3 viewing area here. So again, we'll be looking for that potential into tonight as well. Now also again for tonight, again, we do not have any watches as of this time frame for right now, but we will be watching to see if the Storm Prediction Center issues any more watches. If they've downgraded us from a slight possibility to a marginal threat. It's kind of doubtful that we will see a watch, but once again, that could be in the offing out there. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the evening. Back into the mid-90s tomorrow, and again, this forecast is going to be seeming frighteningly familiar over the next several days. Really just not that much is going to be changing anytime soon. If everything holds, we might see some better weather toward Independence Day. We'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Myers... Myers, Hayden, Holly Jr., how much rainfall? Kind of depends. For right now, with some of those thunderstorms, we could see one to two inches of rainfall. We saw a pretty good amount of that in the last couple of days and some localized flash flooding this morning. We could easily see, excuse me, that again into the rest of the forecast. <clears throat> excuse me, allergies, going to be seeing the possibility of some of these thunderstorms dropping some decent amounts of rainfall out there. So that could be possible, but it looks like that's going to be kind of low on the threat list. Those damaging winds and large hail, that will be the main threat from any of these storms to get going. Isolated chances of strong to severe thunderstorms over the next couple of days, and most of that lifts away from us, just giving us some isolated thunderstorms over the next few days. So if you have plans for outdoors, that golf game, taking the kids to the park for a picnic, uh, vacation Bible school, outdoor stuff, swimming lessons, whatever it is you've got outdoors, you have that slim chance of a shower or thunderstorm into the course of the next several days. It's not great, but it is still possible. And again, it's definitely non-zero. So if you have the plans out there, just have a plan B ready to go to get back indoors once again. And if you can see lightning around or you hear thunder off in the distance, again, time to get back indoors once again. If you see, again, anybody uh, with a thunderstorm nearby, their hair standing on end or the hairs on their arms starting to stick up, you need to squat to the ground immediately and, again, get, make yourself as small a target as possible. This is National Lightning Safety Awareness Week, and we'll be bringing you a lot more about that over the next several days from the National Weather Service, so tune in for more on that as we go throughout the next few days out there. Now, toward Independence Day, Running out of June and into July, temperatures by Independence Day might moderate a little bit, lower 90s. And so far, good news, we're not seeing anything right now in the way of natural fireworks or rainfall that might put a damper on the man-made fireworks out there. So again, we'll watch that carefully. Again, as you go toward this end of the forecast, this is 10 days away from where we are right now. So the forecast has a lot more uncertainty out here. These numbers are more of a suggestion than anything else. A lot more certain on the numbers back on this end of the scale because we're a lot closer. We can use a lot more accurate data to tell you what's going on. But over here, again, that'll change as this date and these days get a little bit closer to us. So stay tuned for more on those changes coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Deborah J54 from Humboldt, as the sun came up this morning with those clouds out there, kind of a weird glow being seen around Humboldt, Tennessee. So thank you very much uh, for that one. From Big Hoss 5808, didn't get a location on this, but some flooding into and around the area. Uh, again, parts of the Mid-South did manage to pick up a lot of rainfall and some decent amounts of heavy rain kind of striking the visibility downwards a little bit. So 
Thank you very much for that one. And also a nice view from Arkansas, SEC 73, a little bit more of a calm view of taking the geese out for a stroll and going out into the waters. So at least a little bit calmer conditions there from around Sunday. If you've got weather pictures, tweet them to me, email them to me. We'd love to feature them on netcast like this or on News Channel 3 on our regular newscast as well. So please send them along to me. Or if you can't do that, send them to austin.onic at wrag.com and we'll keep you updated on that. More tropical air in the way for the Mid-South into the course of the rest of the next several days, so expecting a lot more humidity to be over the southeast United States, including the Mid-South. But as of right now, the Gulf, the Western Caribbean, the Western Atlantic, not seeing anything in the way of development. The colors you see on here, the reddish colors, that's the sea surface temperatures. They're very warm, but not lending itself to anything really starting up at this time. So that's good news. But remember, we are just in the beginning portion of the hurricane season for this time of the year, so we got to watch that very carefully into the next several days. Now, some very good news at this time. Looking out over into the eastern areas of the Atlantic, we're not seeing anything developing at this point in time, partly for a couple things. Number one, waters between the Af African coast and the South American coast are decently cool, and you need a very warm ocean water surface to help get that instability going and to help get more moisture up into the atmosphere to feed those tropical storms and those waves of energy that come in from off of Africa. So that's not helping to start things up. Add to that, we have, again, dust from the Sahara making its way out into the Atlantic and that does a good job of kind of shading the ocean surface keeping it cooler and keeping anything from developing so those combination of things right now along with the lack of any major waves of energy coming off of Africa we're not seeing anything developing that's going to be causing any problems but again this is early to mid-June so we got a long ways to go in hurricane season for this year and we've only had one named storm out there and we've got a lot more of the alphabet that could be filled in, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on that. More on my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, I'll have more with Bob and Josh coming up tomorrow morning on Talkback Live Sports Chat on AM 730. And if you'd like to tune in for more on that, you can find more details at TalkbackLiveNetwork.org. If you're out of range of the signal in the Mid-South area, dial them up online. Again, that's TalkbackLiveNetwork.org, and that'll be Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. with forecasts from yours truly on that into the rest of the week, keeping you updated uh, at this point in time. Welcome to everybody who's checking in for tonight. Bonnie Cummins, hot from Crenshaw, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one at this point in time. Uh, thanks to everybody else again for checking in. Uh, Vote for Rain and No Lightning by Marie C. Brent. Wish we could uh, say that would be the case, but unfortunately not going to be happening at this point in time. And thanks to everybody for checking in. Uh, see Jackson, Tennessee, Cindy Crabtree, pretty much about the exact same forecast, hot and humid with those isolated thunderstorms uh, taking place uh, into and around the area. So thanks to everybody again for checking in for everybody out there for later on tonight. Coming up tonight at 10, I'll have an update on the complete forecast and make sure and you join uh, Kristen Harrelson for more information about what's going on with the day's news and join our brand new sports anchor, Megan Rice. She'll be on tonight with a wrap-up of a very busy day in sports. That'll be later on tonight, coming up right at the top of the hour on News Channel 3 at 10. So join us there. And again, anything you'd like to see on here, I'd like to send along pictures or anything else, please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to have you along for the ride. If there's something on here you would that's not on here that you would like to see, please let me know about about that, and we'd be glad to consider what you would like to see. More satellite, more climate detail, more radars, whatever it is, we'll do our best to fill in the gaps for you and keep you coming back for more. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. <laughs>